My name is Dorothy Wielen, and I come from the Klingchon region in the Northwest Territories. Klingchon people are composed of four communities, Pechakon, Gamati, Wati, and Wukuti. My grandparents have raised me, and when I was 15 years old, I took my first journey on a healing path, trails of our ancestors. Every year, our people travel by canoe or boat to the Klingchon annual gathering. This trip is considered to be a vision to retrace our past and see it through the eyes of our elders. We need our elders to teach us our way of life, to regain our identity, retrace our path, and develop skills required to be successful. My grandfather invited me on my first Trails of Our Ancestors journey along with his friend. And my 10-year-old nephew, Melvin, our first trip was two to three days by boat to Wati. My nephew got sick on the first night, so I informed my grandfather and he said we needed to go on the land to get medicine. Before we took the medicine from the land, Melvin had to do an offering and say a little prayer for a fast recovery and healing. My grandfather and Melvin disappeared in the bush and came back with spruce cone. My grandfather and his friend boiled the cones on an open fire. Once it was done, they filtered out the cones and Melvin drank two doses of the medicine. And the next morning, he was healed. The elders always say, pay your respects before you take anything from the land. We always make an offering such as tobacco, food, and wooden stick match. If you don't pay your respects, the medicine will not work. Another teaching my grandfather gifted me on this trip was about going to new places. If you go to a new place you haven't been before, a new area on the land or new, new water, you have to make an offering, he said. My girl, you haven't been to this area before. Go pick a branch off the tree and pay your respects to the water. You need to ask for a safe journey, including calm waters, no wind, and no interaction with the animals. I tried to practice my culture as much as my ancestors did. Some people lost their language and culture due to colonization and residential school, but I grew up speaking my mother tongue, Klingchong. I practice my tradition in every season and I teach my children as much as I can about our land, language, and culture. Practicing my culture keeps me healthy. I am proud of where I come from, especially being able to speak my own language. It's sad when people don't have their language because there is emptiness in them. Our elders have taught us you need to be strong like two people by keeping our tradition and language and speaking English and understanding Western ways. Healing for me is about nature, language, culture, and family. When I know there is something wrong with me, like feeling sad, stressed, or depressed, I drive out to the middle of nowhere and I sit in nature. I talk to the land, I let the land take that negative energy out of me. I understand that everyone doesn't do healing like me, which is why community events like hand games, drum dance, and community feasts are important. Practicing our culture brings healing to everyone. <laughs>